video, we're going to be talking about new research done on ASEA's flagship redox signaling technology on this powerful liquid. Moral of the story is that it is now proven that it helps your body be more resilient, better able to handle different stressors, bacteria, parasites, viruses, whatever's coming at your system. And so I want to share with you what the study was, how it was done, what it revealed, and what it means for you and your health. Now, there are some terms that you're going to need to probably understand. Uh, many of us, I don't think, have taken biology classes in a long time. We're not as familiar with cellular health. And so I will define some things for you, and we will get into what was actually done in this study. So First of all, I want to understand, or help you understand, the topic of allostatic load. Allostatic load, I think the best way to describe it to you is with an analogy. If you think of a cup that you're filling up with water, eventually at some point that cup gets full. It has the capacity for so much, and then what happens? It overflows. All right, if you think about your body, your allostatic load is the ability of your body to handle stress and respond to stress. So when stress comes, think of it as water filling up the cup, right? And your body has built-in mechanisms and pathways that get signaled so that that stress can be dealt with and the system can get back to homeostasis and the water level can retreat, right? It can go down. Now, it is true that some of us just genetically were kind of programmed with larger cups than others, right? Some of us can handle a lot more while others cannot. And what I want to talk about, though, is the body's ability to stop the water from overflowing. Okay, so the allostatic load, we're thinking about how much stress. This is chemical stresses, uh, environmental stresses, emotional stresses, things from our diet. There are so many stressors on our systems, toxins coming in, different things that are putting stress on the body, and the body has an ability to deal with it to a point. Because what will happen is that if the body is not able to handle the stress that's coming in, the water level will eventually overflow. And when it does overflow, guys, guess what that is? <laughs> that is dis-ease in the system. It is what sets the stage for disease. And this is something that we obviously don't want and we want to make ourselves more resilient. How nice would it be to be able to support the body in addressing this, to keep the water from not overflowing? That would be ideal. <laughs> now we can support our body at the system level to help keep this kind of under wraps and under control. So there's actually some markers that you can study. So biomarkers in the blood that you can look at to figure out, well, what is the allostatic load on the body and how are we addressing it? Can we support it? Now, a study was done at Aspen Labs. This was a study that was actually done with people. So this started as a safety study and then they realized that this particular lab had the ability to look at and dive deeper on some things. So they took 30 participants. These people were healthy. I believe the age range was somewhere between like 21 and 55 uh, with no pre-existing conditions and they did uh, lab work day zero, day 60, day 120. So this is four months on this supplement, the ASEA Redox solution. They drew their blood and they looked at different things. And so we need to talk about another term, uh, cytokines. So cytokines are a way of measuring the allostatic load in the body, right? The level of that liquid in the glass. I think about it as like they're inflammatory markers in the body, all right? It measures uh, how high your allostatic load is, how high the stress is in your system. If they are lower, it means your all allostatic load is lower. Does this make sense for us? All right, so if you understand this, there's a couple of markers. One of them is called interleukin 1 beta, IL1B. Uh, the other one, interleukin 6, IL6. All right, these can be used to measure allostatic load. Think of them like little ticks on your measuring cup. Okay, so we're able to say, okay, where are my ticks? <laughs> um, interestingly, uh, IL-6, many of you might actually be familiar with this because uh, myocarditis, you're able to figure out the inflammation of the heart by looking at this particular measurement. And I know that became very relevant to many people after the pandemic. So let's talk about day zero, day 60, day 120, beginning, middle, and end. What we wanted to look at when we looked at ILB, right, interleukin-1 beta, what they saw was that after 60 days in drinking the ASEA, there was a decrease in this marker by 16.6%. Then after day 120, it was a reduction of 
That is massive when it comes to the allostatic load, when it comes to the system being able to address these stressors, getting that water level back down so it's not overflowing and we're not setting the stage for dis-ease in the body. That is incredible. Now, I know many, many people who have taken a SIA for 30 days and they're saying, I don't notice anything, it's not doing anything. And I always tell people, give it 90 days at least. But now after this study, I believe I'm going to shift that to say, give it at least four months because this research is showing a massive reduction. Now, whether this happened at month three or month four, we don't know, they took the blood work at day 120, but still this is incredibly powerful to see a reduction in 89% in that. All right, so we're getting the level of the water in that glass down. We're stopping it from spilling over. This is key. We want to contain the spillover. <laughs> we want to keep that allostatic load um, under wraps. Now, interleukin-6. This is harder to shift, and so when you see smaller movements in IL-6, it's a big deal. So after 60 days, there was a reduction of 2.6%. IL-6 went down by 2.6%. After the four months, after 120 days, it went down 11.5%. That is very significant for IL-6. So the magic, guys, again, is happening in this month three to month four time frame. If you try to see it before and you said, oh, it didn't work, you probably didn't give it enough time. This is something that you need to give your system time. If you think about it, when you go to the doctor because you have a symptom for something or you found something, that didn't happen overnight. This has been happening slowly over years. They say a lot of times it takes seven years for something to actually manifest at the system level for you to be going to the doctor for. And so we are not going to be able to, no matter how good the product is, we are not going to be able to just flip that switch overnight. You have to give your body time. But think about how powerful, we're talking months that you're able to support the body and address these chronic issues. I mean, how long has your system been under severe stress? Probably a long, long, long time. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, aside from being not being short-sighted, is glutathione. Okay, I get a lot of questions about glutathione because sometimes um, people are told in specific uh, areas that they don't want to activate glutathione in the body. It would not be good for them. Now, other people are trying every which way to supplement with glutathione. And so there's several things to talk about here. Number one, if you're not familiar with glutathione, it is a master antioxidant. It's like the king antioxidant. It has a massive surface area. It is able to go after and handle uh, free radicals very, very, very well. Okay. It can reduce them in the body, which is fantastic. Now, if you think about uh, exogenous glutathione. One of the reasons it's so difficult to get into the body is because it's large. It has a large surface area. And so it's very difficult to do this. So people have been doing now IVs and nanoglutathione and all these different things. Well, I have a better solution for you. Rather than getting it exogenously, meaning outside of the body, Right? There are ways to get uh, exogenous antioxidants. You think about, right, you see it like blueberries. They have antioxidants. You think about things like vitamin C. These are exogenous ways to put it in, but nothing compares to endogenous, your body making its own, okay? There is a higher impact when your body's own glutathione is made. And so this gives the raw energy to the body, the signaling mechanisms to tell NRF2, hey, go make glutathione, and then the body will produce what it needs. Life's a balancing act, right? Between reductants and oxidants. And we want to keep that balance. What you need to understand is that a sea of redox responds with the body's needs. This responds with your body's needs. You cannot possibly give yourself too much. You can give yourself too much exogenous glutathione. It can be a problem. You give it to the body, it has to use it. It can get you out of balance. What you want is to be able to give your body the resources to go do what it needs to do, right? If I gave you $10,000 and said, go fix your house, you would get to decide where you spend the money. Do you spend it on the leaky toilet, the leaky roof, the cockroaches that are in there? I don't know what's happening in your house, but whatever you would want to spend on, you get to choose. When you give your body the redox, your body is a genius and it will choose where it will go first. It will choose how much glutathione is needed. It will respond to the body. And this study that was done at Aspen Labs showed this. It shows what we have been telling people all the time, that this is safe and here's one of the reasons why. What this study showed is that yes, in the first 60 days, glutathione levels ramped up, right? And so there was a 10.9% increase in these levels of the glutathione in the system. 
Well, after 120 days, it was just 14.4%. It was not as much of this increase, increase, increase. Why? Well, it leveled out. Why? Because the body, if we look at that IL-1B and IL-6, we see that what the inflammatory markers are going down, these cytokines, it's going down. And so you don't need as much glutathione in the body. The body was responding to the needs of its system. It is adaptive. This lets the body be more responsive to what's actually going on. All right, now there's some other really interesting stuff that came out of this study and I will just mention it so we have to, again, define something. Immature granulocytes. Immature granulocytes, you guys are familiar with stem cells, right? A stem cell is a cell that's not differentiated. It, it hasn't it can become anything. It can go become a nerve cell, it can go become a heart cell, it can go become a skin cell, it can go become whatever you need. Immature granulocytes are basically like the stem cells for the immune system. They are white blood cells that haven't been told uh, what their purpose is yet and what they need to go and do. All right. So it's like the reserves. Think about it, uh, the military, right? There's a lot of different branches of the military from the Air Force, the Navy, you know, you name it. And the immature granulocytes are like the reserves. They can go and be put, oh, we need more people in the army. Oh, we need some people in the Coast Guard. So it's like the reserves ready to go so the body can address what's needed. That is what we have with immature granulocytes. And so what we found is that there was a 116.5% increase in immature granulocytes in these 30 people during this study. Wow. Okay. So the immune system reserves went up like crazy. So that could be brought on board whenever needed. All right, this is the story of resilience, my friends. And then um, I believe it's xenophiles, xenophiles, anyway, uh, that decreased by 11.09%. All right, this is a connection point for parasitic infection in the body. And now we know redox, right? It boosts the immune system. It helps the, the immune system to, hey, go after the viruses, go after the bacteria, go after the parasites, go after whatever it needs to go after. And we can see that this has been supported here. And so this tells us the story that after 120 days, these participants that were drinking the ASEA redox, they were better prepared to respond to infection, better prepared to respond to whether that infection was bacterial, excuse me, <coughs> parasitic, whatever it was, whatever stressors were on the system, whatever was pushing that liquid to want to overflow, to increase their allostatic load. All right, I believe there's a white paper coming out about this, hopefully by the end of this year, this is being recorded at the end of 2025. And so you can look at this more and more, but guys, uh, this is a powerful way to address your health. I am so appreciative to ASEA for constantly doing research, constantly pushing the envelope. You will notice that ASEA's research is structure function. All right, this is a supplement because it is in the supplement category. They cannot do a study on a specific disease or illness. That would be a medical claim. That is what pharmaceuticals do. This is something that supports the trillions of cells in your body. It addresses on a like systemic foundational level. This is not designed to work at the effect level, a certain symptom that's popping up. This goes down to the causal level, to the root of it, helping address allostatic load, helping to support every cell in your system. So it is a very different way to look at your health and it is really profound. Uh, if you are looking into ASEA and you're wanting to get started, I can help mentor you in that process. I can give you advice, a consultation. I can help you get started at a discount if you would like to try this product and also can explain to you the benefits of their topicals. Uh, being able to target areas uh, on your body with more redox. There is so much here. Uh, continue to do your deep dive, do your due diligence on this. Once you understand the power of this, it just becomes a no brainer to add this to support your system. And I cannot wait to help you. So you can head over to my website. If you wanna explore more, you can message me right here on WhatsApp. It is me behind the scenes, answering those messages, taking those calls and supporting you in your journey. So I look forward to meeting you. I cannot wait to help you. And let's get your water levels down so your system is not under stress and stays in its most profound health and has really good reserves ready to go for whatever life throws at you.